guys, my name's Bridget and today I thought I would do a more chill laid back video where I talk about some of the books I've read recently. The first five books I read this year I already discussed in my reading for 24 hours video. I read them in those 24 hours so at the end when I was talking about all of the books I'd read, I kind of reviewed them there. So if you want to see that, I will link to it up here and then I will also have it linked down in the description. Since then, I've read a grand total of nine books in the span of three months, which doesn't seem very good compared to other people, but I'm trying, okay? Just give me a chance. I'm a very slow reader and in my defense, I had school and some of these are school books also, so I'm kind of cheating, maybe if you call that cheating, but they are books I read for classes and then also some books I read for fun. First, we're gonna be talking about Zenith by Sasha Altsberg and Lindsay Cummings. And by talking about it, I mean, I'm just going to mention it. I did read this within the span of time. This was one of the books. However, I did make a whole video review talking about this. It was a rant review. So if you are a huge fan of Zenith, don't go and hate on that video. But if you would like to see my opinion, please check it out. I tried to just use the facts and I obviously I had some issues with it. So I had to talk about it. This is a widely discussed book on booktube. So I wanted to just give my thoughts since I owned a copy and I did read it. And if you're curious, I rated this a 1.5 out of 5 stars. The next book I read was The Rose Society by Marie Lu. With this book, the first half was really slow, kind of setting everything up and just trying to get back into the world. It was kind of a struggle for me and it wasn't super fun. But after that, like after the halfway point, the story really picked up and it was really fun and quick and I really had a fun time with it. There were lots of twists and turns that I didn't see coming. And so I enjoyed it, but I wouldn't say it's like a favorite or like a high tier book in my opinion. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. It was just alright. The next book I unfortunately have no clue where my copy went off to which is kind of a problem because I need it to write my end of the year essay. I'm sure it'll turn up, right? It's To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. It was an interesting read as my first Virginia Woolf book. The tone of part 2 is very different from the tone of part 1 and part 3. Dramatically so. I thought that was fascinating to read about. It's told as most of Virginia Woolf's books are in kind of a thought processing tone where she's just spewing all her thoughts out as if it's just flowing from each character to each character which was very interesting and it almost seemed like everything happened and nothing happened at the same time which left me very thoughtful and pensive at the end because I'm like what actually happened during the story? Not much but also so much when you look at like each of the characters and the journey they went through so it was very interesting to think about. I gave this book a three stars. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't like a favorite. And the back and forth of like train of thought style of writing left me interested and wanting to know more, but also like, I'm still hung up on like, did anything happen in this book or am I just imagining it? Oh my God, I'm just dumb. This is the book. And it was just sitting there. I just didn't recognize it because of the cover. Here it is, To the Lighthouse. Yup. I had it in my pile too. What the heck, Bridget? The next book I'm gonna talk about is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I enjoy this book. The first 50 pages are pretty slow and I was not into it and I was like, oh God. Uh, I was reading this for one of my classes. We had to read a Victorian novel and I chose this one. I thought I had made a mistake within the first 50 pages. I was like, this was not the move. However, after that it picked up. The story was fast and exciting and everything was happening and it was mysterious and you were like, ooh, what's gonna happen next? And it was really great. Um, I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars and I thought I would like it but I enjoyed it a whole lot more than I was expecting to. Especially after the first 50 pages where I was like, oh this is a struggle to get through. So if you started reading this book and you want to put it down, just kind of try and get to the 100 page mark and then I think you'll be good. I know I said after page 50 it, get, it picks up, but if that doesn't do it for you, just read on a little bit longer and maybe it'll catch you and you'll be invested. The next book I read was another book from my Virginia Woolf class and that was Mrs. Dalloway, obviously by Virginia Woolf. My copy is very thin. I didn't enjoy this book very much. I thought it was slow and nothing really happened, which I know is kind of like Virginia Woolf's whole point is that like nothing really needs to happen in order to have something happen with you emotionally. But still, this is probably my least favorite Virginia Woolf book I've read so far. I gave it a two out of five stars. I wasn't hooked and I didn't think the story really had a point. Whereas with To the Lighthouse, I really did enjoy it. And I thought the story, like you could see how it flowed. This one, like it happens in the course of a day. It, it didn't really strike me. The next book I picked up was American Royals by Catherine McGee. This book is about if America had a monarchy instead of a democracy, which originally like going in, I was like, mm, am I gonna like that? But also I really love the idea of royals. Have fun reading about them. And this book surprised me. I was into it. I was addicted. I was like, what's gonna happen next? There's so much tea. All of the drama was happening in this book. 
this would go back and forth and back and forth and you're like oh my god what's gonna happen next and i predicted to my roommate i spent like 10 minutes saying all my predictions and then i realized that this wasn't a standalone and it actually is the first book of a series so not all of my predictions came true so like we'll see if they happen later on but this book was so much more addicting than I thought it would be. I thought maybe there were like one too many plot lines, but also I could see why you needed all of their perspectives. There were four perspectives in this book and I thought they were all well used. So I thought this was fun and interesting to read. I can't wait for book two, I'm excited. I really enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I would. I still had some issues with the back and forth and back and forth nature of the story, but I did really enjoy it. So I gave it a three out of five stars. It was a good time. It just wasn't like perfect, but I enjoyed it for what it was. The next book, I finished was A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas, yes! If you don't know, I've had this book on my currently reading shelf of Goodreads since 2017 when the book came out. I got this, I started reading, put it down, just like on and off would grab it and like read some of it and then be like, hey, just, nah, nah, nah. and then I wouldn't finish it. I finally finished this book. I feel so achieved to get this off of my TBR. I'm like, wow, I did it. Wow, what a concept of like finishing a book. Crazy, right? There was so much to unpack in the story. At times I felt like it dragged on way longer than necessary. And there were a few spots where I felt like there were just like info dumps of just like, and here's all the stuff about the world and about the story that you need to know. And I felt like they could have like interspersed that better so that it wasn't just all at once like in your face, here's everything you need to know at this moment. However, I enjoyed the action and the romance that was like built up in the story, so I gave it a four out of five. I did enjoy it. It just had a few issues that I couldn't get past. The next thing I picked up was actually a play and it was the Bard Book Club's first book of the month and that is Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare. We read it alive. I will link it up above and in the description if you wanna go check that out. Um, it was a fun time. It's like only two and a half hours, I wanna say, like not even. It's pretty, short like you think it's gonna be longer than it is but it's a play so it's it can't be that long i really enjoyed this i thought it was easy to read and i thought this is like one of the easiest to read shakespeare plays that i've read so far i really enjoyed it i love the characters how they go back and forth and everything and i thought it's really cool it's so fascinating to see how he writes people and how people can just change sides so quickly like there's the whole scene at caesar's funeral where Brutus speaks and they're like, yeah, Caesar sucks. And then Antony speaks and it's like, oh my God, like I, I respect Brutus. However, I'm so sad. And they're like, aw. And then he's like, found this will just like in Caesar's closet. No one's heard of it, but like me. Uh, and I would like to read it to you because oh no, that'd be too traumatic. And everyone's like, read it. And then like, they all agree with him and they're like, oh my God, Caesar was the best, how dare Brutus. It's fascinating to see that shift and how easily people were just like, I'm gonna die now because it's not going my way at the end. Our book of the month this month is Twelfth Night. So if you'd like to join us for our read-along, it's on April 14th. So check that out. And our live show discussing it is on May 1. So please join us. I would love to have you. And it's really fun. I enjoy reading each of Shakespeare's works. And I'm excited to continue reading more of them because I haven't read enough. That's what I'm excited about with this book club. Oh, and I gave this a four out of five stars. And the final book I read recently was Tweet You by Emma Lord. Wow, this book, adorable. I had a poll on Twitter asking what I should read first. A large percentage of people chose Tweet You, so I was like, I guess I gotta check it out. If you would like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Bridget Books. You should definitely follow me, so maybe you could participate in those polls in the future. So everyone was like, oh my God, that book is so cute. I thought I would like it, but wow. The story happens on like multiple levels. It's told from Pepper and Jack's point of view. Pepper is the daughter of a lady who is now running a, a huge burger franchise. It's called Big League Burgers. Jack is working for a small like mom and pop deli and they have this feud over Twitter and then they're both on the swim team so they know each other and they kind of become friends. And then also on another level, there's this anonymous chat app that they've been talking on so they don't know it's them. There are so many levels that this story is happening on, which I really enjoyed. My only issue is like 40 or 50 pages from the end, everything was in chaos. And I know you have to have like that darkest hour time of the book. However, there were only like 40 pages left and I felt like that wasn't enough to resolve the story. Once they did get together, like I wanted to see a bit more there because I felt like everything was resolved just too quickly. It was like, oh yes, and then we'll do this and it's over. And I would have liked to see some of the plot lines resolved a bit better because I felt like they were just kind of cut off like, oh, Oh yes, you're assuming that this is gonna happen and then it goes to epilogue. So I felt like that was a bit short at the end, like the conclusion aspect, but I really enjoyed this book. I gave it a 4.5 out of five stars. Just those aspects of the end kind of bothered me so I couldn't give it a perfect five stars. But otherwise, like this book was adorable. I highly recommend you check it out if you're interested. It's this fun and contemporary and I definitely recommend. Their back and forth banter is fantastic. And I just, that was my favorite part of the story is just hearing them go back and forth 
because it was just so great. So these are all the books I've read in the past couple months. Thanks so much for watching them. Let me know down in the comments what you've read recently and any books you think I should pick up. Please like this video if you enjoyed hearing me talk about these books and I will see you guys in my next video to be up very soon. So see you guys then. Okay, bye!